the ministerial portfolios for the government have been dished out and the new ministers will begin being officially briefed on their new roles tomorrow once they've been sworn in. We've got a special programme tomorrow night too. The team that will run the country is a mix of ministers from Labour, New Zealand First and the Greens. Today the Prime Minister-designate Jacinda Ardern spoke about the government's portfolios, their priorities and reducing child poverty, she says, is chief among them. It's a personal priority for me, a commitment for me, one of the reasons I am in politics. Uh, Cabinet Office advice, of course, was that holding an operational portfolio like the children's portfolio um, simply wasn't possible, something that I too had come to terms with. I did not want to relinquish, however, uh, the strong focus I want this government to maintain on child poverty. So I will ensure that focus remains by holding responsibility for child poverty reduction. I've otherwise uh, asked that Tracy Martin take on the role as Minister for Children. Uh, she's a strong advocate in that area. She has a strong focus on education in particular. I believe she has um, the strength uh, to make sure Oranga Tamariki is an effective and, and successful ministry. Now, Ms Ardern says addressing housing is also a huge focus for the new government and she's brought it back into one portfolio after the national government split it between three different ministers. Our desire, our belief um, that home ownership should not be out of reach of New Zealanders means that Phil Twyford will be taking on Minister for Housing um, and Urban Development. Uh, that portfolio brings in what had become quite a disparate set of portfolios. It's our belief that by working as a single entity we'll make sure there are greater efficiencies and better planning across those portfolios. That's Jacinda Ardern, the New Zealand First Leader, now Deputy Prime Minister. Well, he will be tomorrow after the swearing in. Winston Peters spoke today about his party's cabinet postings and was asked what he will bring as he returns to the Foreign Affairs Minister role. Well, I think I can bring to Foreign Affairs a thing called experience, which is rather important uh, on the international scene. Uh, the last time I had the job, uh, I spent a lot of time to turn around our relations with the United States, and I think. Uh, even our worst critics would acknowledge we're successful in doing that, but also to expand our understanding of, for example, the East Asian relationship, which we're beginning at that time. And there are a number of things internationally which I think New Zealand uh, has got a capability of having a strong voice on, even to the extent of the... Uh, we do not think that North Korea is an utterly hopeless case. We do not think, for example, that China is the reason why I, we need to better understand that region and make our contribution, albeit as a small country, but an informed one. Winston Peters, the climate change portfolio, conservation, women's affairs are among the 10 Green Party uh, portfolios, well, associates, uh, that the Greens have been given. Its leader, James Shaw, says his MPs are delighted. It does give us a tremendous opportunity to work on the areas that we campaigned on uh, in climate change, uh, in relation to the 3,000 species that are facing extinction. Um, they will now have a, a fighting chance, I think. Uh, in relation to um, people facing uh, domestic and sexual violence, they will have someone to fight their corner in a way that I don't think that we've seen uh, before. In relation to uh, health uh, and to uh, a long-standing commitment to uh, transforming the way that New Zealand gets around in our transport, um, you know, obviously that's really significant for us as well. Uh, that's Green Party leader and new climate change and statistics minister James Shaw, who, by the way, nailed the top dad joke of the day when he was asked about having the statistics portfolio. He said, it's the only one that counts. Groan.